In this video, we're going to go over do's and don'ts in Japan. So, when you go to Japan, there's a lot of different cultural differences. Um, there's a lot of things that might surprise you, and there's a lot of things that you know, might be kind of common knowledge or whatnot. But one big thing that you'll notice if you go to Japan is for some reason, the Japanese men, they're tiny. These guys, these guys can drink. Like, do not, please, do not get a competition with drinking at, or a drinking competition with the Japanese men, either sake or beer. I've, uh, I've known many guys to be able to, actually my friend Shima is a great example. He could drink probably two bottles, maybe this big, two bottles of 20, 25% alcohol beverage. Two bottles! That's like at least three bottles of wine and that's probably a full bottle of liquor. And this guy, bottle and a half of liquor, this guy could drink all of that and then next day be ready for work, be focused, conscious, ready. Maybe they just drink a lot of water in between. Maybe they just have the most powerful, hard-working Japanese kidneys there is. Whatever it is, these guys can drink. So do not get into a drinking competition with Japanese men. Um, it's best just to have one or two anyway. But um, another thing is that you will know if you go to or you'll notice if you go to Japan is do not litter. I know I talked about this briefly, but do not litter. They're really big on being clean, not littering, not throwing things on the ground. You know, whatever it is, do not litter. And then another another big thing is people are very respectful. So if you can be, learn a little bit of Japanese and they, they think it's very respectful for a foreigner to learn some Japanese and try to speak it. Any country you go to, they'll respect that. But um, there's different ways to say, let's say thank you, for example. You can say arigato. You might say arigato to someone your own age or younger or a friend, but maybe to someone a stranger, someone who's older than you, you might say arigato gozoimasu, which is like thank you very much. But even more polite than that, you could say domo arigato gozoimasu. Domo arigato, domo arigato gozoimasu. Uh, gozoimasu is a very polite way of saying thank you very much. You know, like thank you, thank you very much. And then you might even bow a little bit um, when you say this. So it's, it's it, everything you say, you can say it with very casually or very formally. I mean, I know they have this in a lot of languages, but in Japan, I would stress it a little bit more so, especially if, you, if you're learning the language, it'd be very respectful and, you know, kind and, and courteous and uh, considerate of those around you. Cell phone's a big, a big one. You don't want to, you don't want to be on your cell phone in the train. You don't want to be on your cell phone very loudly around other people. If you're on a plane and you see a bunch of Orientals, and let's just say there are Chinese and Japanese, you can easily tell the difference that you're going on a flight between Japan and China. You can easily tell the difference between the Japanese people and the Chinese people. I'm not trying to be racist, but the Chinese people are going to be really loud, and the Japanese people are going to be a lot quieter, reserved, and respectful. Um, it's just a cultural difference, but in Japan, you don't talk on your phone on the train. You don't. Um, there's actually trains on trains, like one of the cars that are female only cars. You'll be really careful not to on these. If you're male, obviously, if you're female, go for it. But um, they have, you know, female trains only. And, you know, the males and females can all go on the other ones, depending if you don't care, if you're just trying to get on the train. Um, they, when you go to Japan, the big thing is tipping. You do not, you do not tip people in Japan. In Japan, it's not common practice to tip. So if you go to a restaurant and you leave a tip on the table, you find out very quickly that uh, I've, I've heard of people leaving a restaurant and the guy running down the street saying, oh, you forgot your money, you forgot your money. Because um, it's a big deal about steal and tipping is just not a common practice in Japan. They just don't do it, um, which is nice if you're from the Western world because we tip outrageously. It's crazy. Um, I mean, it's fine in some cultures where they don't pay their people enough, so you tip, you know, because it is good service. But in Japan, it's not common practice to tip. You don't tip. Um, just 
you know, it's a thing you don't do. And something that you do do in Japan is um, shoes on, shoes off. Now when I say that, you're like, what? Shoes on, shoes off. When you enter a building, when you enter someone's house, um, even a lot of restaurants, you'll take off your shoes and they'll have slippers. You put on the slippers, you go into the restaurant. It's kind of a big deal not to um, track in things from outside. Japanese are very, very clean people. The Japanese, it's often said the Japanese people taught the world how to bathe because the Japanese people um, throughout their history have been very clean and cleanse, people, cleansely people. They always bathe, they're always staying clean, they keep their houses very clean, they're very organized, uh, they're very neat. They're it's just something you, you do, it's very common practice, when you, especially when you go into someone's house, you take off your shoes, and if they have slippers, you put on the slippers. And do try an onsen. I mean, if you miss out, you miss out, but if you can, try an onsen. They're super cool, like a Japanese, you know, hot spring, really relaxing, beautifully set. They're very particular about their plants, so they have a lot of cool plants around, you know, very well designed rock, you know, whatnot, different art. And especially in the spring, especially in the winter, when it's cold out and you feel like you're just chilly to your bones, go to an onsen, relax, just warm up, enjoy the waters, and it's just something you have to try if you're in Japan. And the food, last and not least, food, food, food. You have to try all the food when you go to Japan. Try as much food as you can. Try the, the convenience stores, try the, uh, the restaurants, the street food, all the food. When you go to Japan, try all the food. Highly recommend it. All right, guys, this has been NST, Never Stop Traveling. Hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos on Japan, just hit that subscribe and bell icon. You'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. And I don't know what I'm doing here. Just doing that okay, yay, okay. Anyway, peace out, guys. Take care.